let's look at an example of Newton's second law. First, let's review Newton's second law. Newton's second law has the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. F is for force, M is for mass, A is for acceleration. Sometimes you see it as F equals MA, but really on the left-hand side we're looking at the net force, meaning that you need to add all the individual forces up no matter how many there are. If there's just one force, it's F equal to MA. M is the mass of the object that is being accelerated by the letter A for acceleration. Notice that F is bold and A is bold. M is not, so M, we don't really care about the direction. We just need to know what is the mass? How many kilograms is the object? Now for force and acceleration, you do need to know the direction because if you have a push in one direction, then you're gonna accelerate in that same direction. If you have a pull in one direction, then the acceleration is gonna be in the direction of the pull. That's why there's a bold. So it reminds you that you need to tell us the direction. So let's take a look at an example of Newton's second law. So given four astronauts are playing tug of war in space, astronaut one and two are pulling on a rope with force values F1 equal to five Newtons, F2 equal to four Newtons, respectively. Astronauts three and four are pulling on the opposite side of the rope with forces F3 equal to minus one Newton and F4 equal to minus seven Newtons. Find the net or the sum of the forces from all four astronauts. So we have a hint. The negative sign, notice that we have F3 and F4 have negative signs here. The negative sign indicates that the force is in the opposite direction to those with a positive sign. So F1 and F2 are positive, they're going in one direction. F3 and F4 are negative, so they're going in the opposite direction. So the hint says to add up all the forces pulling in the same direction, and then subtract all the forces pulling in the opposite direction to find the net or the sum. And then to express your answer in one significant digit. And they give examples such as 3 or minus 3 or 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.3 or 0 0.03 or minus 0 0.03. In each case, it's just one digit. So 3 is one digit. Minus 3 is one digit. The 0 0.3, we only count the 3, so that's a digit. Minus 0 0.3, same thing. Now we have a 0 0.03, so you only count the zeros to the right of the 3. There's only a three here, so there's no zero, so it's just one digit. And the same thing with minus 0.03. So we're just gonna express our answer in one digit. So let's take a look at the solution, but let's draw ourselves a picture. We know we're in space and we've got a tug of war. So let's draw ourselves a rope. And we have astronaut one pulling on the rope. And we have astronaut two pulling on the rope. They're wearing their space suits and pulling on them. So this one is one, and this one is two. And they're both pulling on the rope in this direction. And the force is going in that direction. To the left is going to be five Newtons. And F2 is also being pulled to the left and that value is four newtons. Now notice these are positive values and I said we're pulling to the left, so positive I'm declaring is to the left. We're in space, so you just have to declare one direction to be positive and the other direction to be negative. So now let's put our little flag on our, uh, on our rope and now we have astronaut three and four out in space pulling on the rope, so this one is three and now we need astronaut four pulling on the rope. And this one is four. So F3 is being pulled in the opposite direction. And that force is given by minus one Newton. Now I really don't need to put the one in front of that. I just can say minus a Newton. And this is in this direction, which is negative. It's in that direction. So then we have our last force. Now notice also I'm putting an arrow above the F. I can't draw a bold letter here, so I'm just gonna put an arrow up there indicating that it's a vector and we need to indicate what is the direction. So Newton's second law basically has two steps. You have step one, which is finding the net force. And the net force is adding up all of these values, F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. 
So we have to add up. So we have five newtons going in one direction. And then we need to add on to it four newtons going in that same direction to the left. So both of those are positive values because it's going to the left. Then we have to subtract off these guys. The negative sign indicates means it's going in the opposite direction. So we just have to subtract off one newton and subtract off seven newtons. You're subtracting off values that go in the opposite direction. So we add them up. Five plus four is nine, minus one is eight, minus seven is one. So we have a net value of one newton and we have to indicate the direction. Since I said to the left is positive and our value is positive, we know that the net solution is to the left. So that's our F net solution. So let's go back and review what it exactly is that we wanted. It says find the net or sum of the forces from all four astronauts. Now step two is normally solving for, you take F net and set it equal to MA, but we don't really need to do that in this case. The only thing we need to do is solve for the net, net forces, and so this is our answer.